so we got a cool one here. So we got another short wheelbase. What? It's a Plymouth Voyager. I'm missing some here. It's a three door model. So we got a 96 first year third gen three door Plymouth Voyager. Out of Dodge of Burnsville. Yep, Plymouth Voyager. I like that gray letter. No, did they paint that the blue? I don't know. I like the color of that lettering. That's cool. I think it's like a gray. Anyway, oh, this is cool. I don't think I've actually like been inside of a third gen with three doors. Like I've seen them. I know they exist, but I've never been in one. Never got to look at one. I don't think I've ever filmed one. Ten of ninety-five. So it's an early manufacturer. Um. So it looks like manual locks, manual windows. So that's cool. So it's got aftermarket power windows and they left the crank and it still works. That's cool. I think this is some sort of security system here. It says Voyager on it. Significant pedal wear there. Not too bad. Um, I see from a Jiffy Loop in October of 2014, it had 183. So I assume if it made it to 2023, nine years later, we're looking well into the 200s. Oh. Um, we got manual sliding mirrors. This one also just has the courtesy lights. Oh, we got another set of these 14 inch wheels. Looks like we're a dark gray in here as well with these kind of rainbow speckled gray seats. We've got, that is the third row bench. Or is it a factory five-seater? Um, anyway, we got a second row bench. Nothing in the third row. We're going to see if there's even mounts for it. But Cup holder. This is all in pieces. Somebody got the radio. Glove boxes out of it. Um, there's a stamp, a 37-cent stamp. Um, this one's also got no tachometer, but it's got the manual gear shift selector in it. So this one's even more of a basic trim. It's got this weird steering wheel cover on it. It does have cruise control. I think they all did. Um, but yeah, this is cool. So you've got, you know, like a lot of the second gens that had just the three doors or all of them. They, you know, you got an extra set of, you know, a drawer, cup holders. No, it, it does have the, it does have the, the runners for the back bench. I don't know. Maybe they came like this. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's got a big bench here and then cargo space back here instead. The uh, headliner in this one is also in great shape. Unfortunately, this one also has manual rear windows, so I'll be without my rear window motors yet again. Carpets, not in bad shape in this one either. It's a little worse for wear, especially up front. I see a Mopar card under here. Make that just, oh, let's see. Come here. Yeah, it's a service appointment. Bloomington Chrysler Jeep. Um, yeah, that's a really cool upgrade right there. I like that. What else do we got? I don't know what, what do you think this is? Weird little trim piece. And I suppose these are all different. Like this is completely different. This is all different. If I ever get a three door one, don't break this stuff because it's hard to find, I guess. Harder. I've not seen any until now. Um, can we get out of this door? Yeah, we can. Kinda, it's stuck. Oh, there's a tire down there. That would be why. 
now it's still stuck. It's been sitting a while. Judging by the moss and its growth on it. It's this like light blue color. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. It's pretty rusty. Not too bad though. The hatch is good. No, it's not. Just kidding. I'm more rusty than the other one. How about that? It looks like a newer muffler. Tail light. This side's pretty good though. On this side. A little bit back here from when I got hit there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Love to see that. That's that's really cool, actually. What we got under the hood. Oh, and this one's got a different. I think this is different under here too. It's got a gray handle, and it's a different style. Another three O V six. Look at the alternator. I wonder if that's got something to do with uh, its demise. Did the alternator seize and blow up? Eesh. I mean, that certainly doesn't help, but yeah, another blown shock tower. This side looks good. Uh, leaky brake master. some custom wiring right there. Looks original-ish down here for suspension. What kind of tiny little tire we got in here? I don't think these are what was supposed to be on it. Yeah, 175. That's like a, what you'd run on a tiny little like Honda Civic or something. Um... See a 3620 right there. Is that to be believed? Yeah, maybe. Like I said, I don't I don't think this is supposed to be on here. This is probably just something that scrapyard had to throw on it, so it had a wheel. But cool. Unfortunately, I'm looking for a coil pack for a 3.3 and power rear windows, so uh, we just struck out both of them. Dang it. Yeah, whatever. Get them next time. Anyway, another cool van to show you here. Unique, anyway. It's again something else we haven't seen.